Hello, 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 hello. It's a brain coach, Jim Quick. Let me see if I can do this. Whoa. Jim Quick, author of Limitless. You're like, Jim, why are you always talking about Limitless? Um, I'm very proud of this book that's coming out soon. Uh, comes out in just uh, next month, actually. And people ask all the time, like, Jim, um, how do you get rid of negative thoughts? How do you get rid of the anxiety? Your thoughts are going different places. My mind is being hijacked and it can't stop thinking about negative stuff or paying attention to negative stuff. And, um, and I always get back to the fundamentals. And I really do believe what keeps us from mastery is when we fall into this trap that we know this already. And um, one of the, you know, those things was just like, oh, I, I've heard you say that before. Why do you repeat it? And I think reinforcement is a very important part to learning and accelerated your learning. And um, so I wanted to just t check in with you and remind you, um, first of all, the question I ask is where are you in the world right now and how are you in the world right now? And when I say how are you, it's nice to have a to-do list. I think it's also very important to have a to-be list. Who do you want to be at this moment right now? And. Um, and I feel like that's more important. The success formula is be, do, have, share in that sequence. Be, do, have, share. You want to be more so you can do more, so you can have more, so you have more to share. And that's really the, the formula. You can't, and you can't get to the, the have place without being and doing, right? It's like when people win the lottery, they get tens of millions of dollars. They have tens of millions of dollars. But what happens after X amount of time, invariably they lose all that and more. Uh, because they were never being a millionaire, right? And they were never doing the things that financially uh, wealthy people do. And I always remind you that if you want wealth, know how wealthy you are right now. Even in turbulent times, challenging times, if you want to feel truly wealthy, count all the things you have in your life that money cannot buy. And so make, make that list. I really do believe that um, you don't have to wait for a great life to be grateful. Be grateful and you will have a great life. And uh, we do a whole section in the book, Limitless, on gratitude and how gratitude rewires your brain. I think it's one of the four G's for having a, like this limitless mindset, four G's. Number one, growth. Because if you want to be limitless, you have to push and play and practice at the edge of your boundaries and it's not comfortable. But while the beauty lies in the butterfly, the growth happens where? In the cocoon. It's the caterpillars like as it's growing and evolving to something um, different, uh, it's transforming. It grows the wings that's strong enough to be able to break through the cocoon to be able to fly and soar to new heights. So growth mindset, right? You've heard this before. You're green in nature and you grow or you're brown and you rot. And so um, I want to thank everybody also who listened to yesterday's podcast episode on how to improve your senses and how your senses could make you have, uh, add to having a more beautiful life. Just like what I talked about that you don't have to wait for a great life to be grateful. You could be grateful and you will have a great life. This episode talked about how to enhance your senses um, so you could see things and experience things even more amazing and, and clear. So the first G, four Gs for a limitless mindset. Number one, a growth mindset. Things are not fixed. Your intelligence is not fixed. Your memory is not fixed. Your income is not fixed. It's, those are, it's not external resources. It's your internal resourcefulness. Number two, I would say that's a very important is grit. You want grit. You want to get yourself to do difficult things. Perseverance is very important. Determination. I mean, when I'm talking about being limitless, the only limitless resource we have on this planet, when you think about it, is 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 the human mind, is like is human potential. That that's limitless. There's no limit on your creativity. There's no limit on your on your ability to solve problems. There's no limit on, on your imagination. There's no limit to your determination. And so what I would say is, if you want to have that limitless mindset, not only have a growth mindset, but a grit mindset, meaning train yourself to do difficult things. That's why I posted that video of me doing uh, the ice bath. I think, uh, and remember, if you're gonna do something like that, have super, 
you know, professional supervision, but taking cold showers, brushing teeth with the opposite hand, getting yourself to do little difficult things, trains your grit, so that way you have to present in front of an audience. You need to be able to do something, talk to that person that you're attracted to, the things that where you feel like you're nervous and you still plow through, because remember, it's not about being fearless. It's about, ex courage is not about being fearless. It's about experiencing fear and still moving forward. And that's really how winning winning is done. And so grit is important because with determination, and it's not just perseverance. You know, if it see if you if you if you're persistent, you could get it. But if you're consistent, you could keep it. So get yourself to consistently do that every single day because grit is a muscle. So we'll get four G's for them to become limitless. Number one, a growth mindset. Number two, a grit mindset. Number three. I would say a gratitude mindset, um, going back to what you appreciate, appreciates that don't wait for a great life to be grateful, you know, be grateful and you will have a great life. So what you appreciate, appreciates, it gets better. And I would do this thought experiment again, if you want to experience this third G, which is, um, which is this, this gratitude is really do this thought experiment. What if the only things you had in your life tomorrow were the things you express gratitude for today? What, uh, I appreciate you loving the videos and I am reading this, I'm a very speed reader, right? <laughs> Many of you have taken our speed reading program. Um, it's great, when you buy, when you actually pre-order this book, I gift you a 10 day program um, immediately and one of those days is on rapid reading and how to have better focus and remember what you read so that when you when you get the book you could just go through it and finish the book there's a different skill set let me just address this right now there's a different skill set than you know buying a book is a different skill set than reading a book some of you are really great at buying books and it sits on your shelf and it becomes shelf help not real self-help um, that's different than actually reading the book. So that's why as a gift for when you go to limitlessbook.com, maybe somebody could post that there, limitlessbook.com, um, I gift you this 10-day program because I want you to be supercharged and when the book arrives, you're so excited about going through it and you have skills to, to go through it, to remember it, to apply it, and, and so much more. Um, finally, I would say, do we have events in Europe? Um, yeah, I'm, we go, I go there every summer and do programs there for uh, over the past X amount of years. Um, bodyguard? <laughs> um, no, brain guard. I would love to be your, your, your stand guard to the doors of your brain, uh, which I think it's very important. Um, Self-respect, that's a great question. Self-respect is the fruit of discipline, okay? Remember that. Self-respect, and I'm pinning this right now, so give me a second. Uh, limitlessbook.com. Self-respect is the fruit of discipline. Work hard, stay humble, you know. And our minds, they're really built to explore, to be able to play, to be able to grow. So growth mindset, four G's to a limitless mindset. Number one, you want to growth mindset. Number two, you want grit, train yourself to do difficult things because then that muscle is strong. So when you do need to perform, it's there for you. And then finally, um, you have the gratitude, what you appreciate appreciates, that's a mindset. and. The last, the last one, 4G, I would say, is giving. You want a giving mindset because I believe that you're here. Yes, I teach you how to learn faster, anything faster. This book will teach you to remember languages, um, remember names, be able to learn any subject or skill faster. You know, build, building your mental intelligence, that's actually pretty straightforward, the methods in there. Um, what I'm really interested in is mental fitness and what you could give back because you learn so you can earn so you can return. Remember that. Learn to earn so you can return. Learn, earn, return. You're like, Jim, you, you really like how to make things memorable. I really do. I think uh, learning can be fun, it can be playful, and learning is the ultimate door to get you what you want most, most in life. And so um, when I'm talking about giving, um, I posted this just a few days ago on, on International Women's uh, Day. You know, we build schools uh, across uh, the world, everywhere from uh, Guatemala to, to Kenya, um, full out schools. Um, it's fully funded uh, for the village, uh, also provides healthcare and clean water. And so every time you go to quicklearning.com, we have the largest accelerated learning platform in the world, teaching speed reading, memory enhancement, critical thinking skills, student success program for you students out there, or, or, your, or you parents out there on how to study better and less, and get better grades in less time. 
um, also programs on focus. Um, and, but we give portions uh, to provide children education who don't have access to education. And um, we also do uh, programs and fund research in Alzheimer's. Um, many of you know I lost my grandmother to Alzheimer's and that was very, very, very difficult. Um, so those are the, you know, I grew up with learning challenges in school, so we want to provide uh, schools for children in need. And I also um, had personal experience where I lost, I don't know if any of you have lost somebody to dementia or Alzheimer's or watched that process, um, but memory really is everything. Like you realize when people are losing their memory, how much of someone's memory is their humanity. And you know, it's yes, it's nice to remember everything that we teach you to remember, but it's also remember, important to remember people. Remember your life. If your life is worth living, it's worth remembering. Remember your loves. So three L's. Remember your life. If your life is worth living, it's worth remembering. Remember your loved ones, um, because a lot of that is you know who. And it's, again, it's not just um, your your family with their friends that can become family also. Your family, right? These are the people that, that you that you choose. And so I think that all of us need somebody to be there for us, to encourage us, to cheer us on, to challenge us. And if you haven't found that person, be that person for someone else, you know. And especially be that person for for you. Be that person for for you. Um, I think part of self care is really just again falling in love with that person in the mirror who's um, who's been through so much, but is still standing, you know. And the person that's that falls and gets up is so much stronger than the person who never falls. So difficult times, you know, adversity could be our advantage um, because it, it does make us stronger. Even with everything that's going on in the world right now, how do you manage your mind? How do you manage your focus? How do you adapt? How do you prepare? And all of it comes down to our ability to think clearer. And even when it comes to our mind, you know, get, get, get your brain right and your mind will follow completely. And so that's why I focus so much on the brain. Um, we talked about the four G's. We talked about gratitude and how um, that you don't wait for a great life to be grateful. Be grateful and you're going to have a great life. And I would just ask you right now to imagine a moment in your life, like that's in the future. Imagine a moment in your life that you, where all your dreams come true. Take a moment right now. Take a moment right now. Take a breath. Exhale. Imagine sometime in the future all your dreams come true. I really want you to feel it, visualize it, imagine it, hear what you be hearing, feel what you be feeling. So visualize it, see it, believe in it, trust it, and then work, work daily for it. Work every single day for it, if that's, if that's your dream. And forget about what everybody else says. I mean, we're put in this box. The whole point of Limitless, is to get you out of that box. So if you feel held back, there are three forces that keep you in a box and three dimensions to a box or to a cage, right? It's your mindset, it's your motivation, and it's the methods that you're using. And so this book helps you to go through a process that I call unlimiting, unlimiting. Imagine the word unlimit, I-N-G. And it's a term we have, you haven't seen before, because I coined this, you know, decades ago, but it's it's a process of removing boundaries and borders in your life. And Limitless is not about being perfect. It's about, it really is about advancing and progressing beyond what you believe is possible because you could do it. And, and I, this is the thing, I've been doing this for 28 years. Let's get real here. I've been doing this for 28 years and this is all I do. This is my mission. I grew up as the boy with a broken brain, brain injuries, and learning challenges. I don't want people to suffer and struggle the way that I did. And so I'll do everything that I can to help build better, brighter brains. My mission is no brain left behind. And I, I wanna recruit your mind to, to support this because this movement of the mind, your mind controls everything, right? It controls your focus, it controls your career, it controls your health, it controls your relationships, it controls your decisions. But nobody shows us how to use our mind. So I, I wrote this book you know, 300 page manual. It's the owner's manual for the most important technology in the world, which is, which is your brain. And this book comes out next month. And as a thank you for getting this book, you'll see the link right there, limitlessbook.com. I'm gonna give you a series of gifts. Some of them are unannounced, but one of them is this 10 day program 
and uh, there's one day on changing your limiting beliefs there's one day on how to how to discover your drives so you don't have to motivate yourself and there's another day on speed reading and focus and my goal is when you get the book it's called limitless limitlessbook.com limitlessbook.com when you get it i'm going to give you this 10 day course for free i just recorded it for you and the first video has over a thousand comments on it and that that's how it, it, it's amazing and my my goal here is to uh, to upgrade i want i want i want your brains to be better off because we connected in this way and i think if you're watching this honestly there's a reason you know, because there's it's probably not coincidence and for those of you who are afraid of change remember this i opened this book with um this quote from a french philosopher that says life is the c between the b and the d a line podcast oh my god so <laughs> my friend aaron alexander is here uh a line podcast check him out we just had him on our show yesterday and we talked about improving your senses it's we've had him on before talking about uh reading reading the body and as your body moves your brain grooves and exercises you could do little things like hanging and, and other things um, we talk about the, the power of light and uh, and other things. So anyway, <laughs> going back to this, life is the C between the between the B and the D. Life is the C between the B and the D. What does that mean? B is birth. D is death. C is choice. Life comes down to your choice. And no matter how bad, no matter what's going on in your environment. You always have the choice of what are you going to focus on. You always have the choice of what do these things mean. You, know, you always have the choice of what am I going to do right now. You have cho more choice than you believe. And that, and you could don't buy into the media and marketing that that says you're broken, that 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 you are weaker or or, or need to be fixed. There are things that that you know is true, and just remember really who you are. And so remember your life, remember your loved ones, and remember your lessons, those three L's. Because they say insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. That's not insanity. That's a bad memory. <laughs> That's why you're repeating, you're dating the same kind of people, or you're making the same mistakes in business, or in school, or whatever. You're eating that same horrible food, that junk food. And junk food is not a terminology. There's junk and then, right, there's, there's food. But you're eating that same food because you're not remembering your lessons of how bad you felt and that, you know, after you ate that horrible thing. Um, so remember your, your lessons. But remember that life is the C between the B and the D. Birth, death, choice. You have choice. And we, our lives are a series of the decisions we make up to this point. And I hope one of them was to, to get this book. I, I wrote this book and I, and I donate and I am and I've said this publicly I'm donating all my author proceeds to this book to charity right so we build schools again if you see my Instagram posts supporting brain health uh, Alzheimer's research uh, schooling for uh, girls and boys who don't have access to schooling and so this is a labor of love for me you know we're on a mission we're on the mission to to save to save your brain to love your brain, to do, because you can do extraordinary things. And so, um, if you're just joining me, my name is Jim Quick of Quick Learning, and I'm here to help you learn quickly. I am your brain coach. I'm honored to, to be that. And the best of the best have coaches. Singers have voice coaches, right? Athletes have physical, personal trainers. Um, business individuals have marketing coaches, financial coaches. I wanna be a coach for the most important asset that you have, which is your, which is your brain. And if you feel like, you know, there's challenging times where I would say is to put energy and effort into the thing that's going to give you the largest return, that's going to give you better clarity, better focus and help you make better decisions, which is which is your mind. Um, and if you're afraid of change, I would say, what if I told you that because some people say I'm scared of change. What if I told you that your life five or 10 years from now, just picture it. And I want you to imagine it's exactly the same. Imagine five or 10 years from now, your life is exactly the same. Nothing has changed. Absolutely no progress. Um, are you happy? And I would say that on the other side, what would you like things to look like five or 10 years from now? And take steps right now for that. It's about making late, small, little steps. And I, I don't want to get dark and dreary, but at the end of your life, when you're taking your final breaths, 
none of other people's opinions, none of other people's expectations, all that things that put you in that box are gonna matter. What's gonna matter is how you lived, how you loved, how you laughed, how you learned, right? Those are the things that are gonna matter. So then the most important thing is to keep the most important thing, the most important thing. The most important thing is to keep the most important thing, the most important thing in your life, right? Dr. Stephen Covey said, put first things first, put the most important things first. Um, hello from uh, Dubai. You can ask, ask, ask away questions. I could, I could see a lot of your, your comments here. I'm here to be able to serve you. If you're just joining us and we're brand new friends, my name is Jim Quick. Quick really is my last name. I didn't change it to do what I do. My father's name, my grandfather's name. Um, I'm on a mission to build better, brighter brains and I think we could do it together. And, um, and every time, I wanna thank you also for your time and your attention. Time and attention are the new currency to life. They just are. It's both are finite, but the demands on your time and your attention are infinite. And I'll say that again. I want to thank you for watching this and for every like, share, comment, everything you've ever done, a, a video or podcast you ever listened from me, because time and attention are today's currency. And while your time and attention is finite, your you know things that are demanding your time and attention are are infinite. And the greatest gift you could give somebody is your attention, is your time, because that's one thing you can not get back. Because time and attention, that's, that, that's your life. That's what your life is made out of. So I appreciate you watching this and because I don't take that for granted. So I wanna thank you for sharing your, your precious portion of your thing that you will never get back. And that's why I always try to deliver for you because I know, I know what it's worth. Um, and I, and I, and I know what good you could do. And that's why I feel like that if I could help you just get more out of this, then if you could have more energy to be there for your kids, to be able to start your business, to make better decisions in your life, then your life will shine. And too many people are dimming their light or their brightness because it's shining in somebody's eyes because they're afraid of how it's going to look. And I'm saying that's not what you want to do. If your friends and family, or if you're giving up your power to them to hold you back, they don't have the power to hold you back. But if you give them your power, your sovereignty, your agency away, you're not doing them a service because you can't change them. And they probably have good intention for you. They don't want you to get your hopes up. They're like, why are you listening to all those podcasts? Why are you, why are you watching those videos? You know, why, why are you buying all those Amazon books? <laughs> They can have good intentions. They don't want you to get sad. They don't want you to get your hopes up. They don't want to lose you because you're making progress. And I would say that you could um, you could love your family and your friends. They could be sincere, but they could be sincerely wrong too. And you have to find your own path. You're only going to be happy if you if you know yourself, and then you be yourself. Have the curiosity to know yourself. That's why you you journal, you meditate, you read books, you listen to conversations, you see, you know, you have, you talk to with friends or with therapists. You just know yourself, and then have the once you have the curiosity to know yourself every single day, have the courage to be yourself, um, because at the end of your life, you know, and if we're in a box, let's get really specific. And there is no room in that coffin for possessions, and you could have all the toys and everything else. But there's also no room in there for regret. I spent a lot of time, I told you, with um, seniors because I lost my grandmother to Alzheimer's. And I like hearing you know, stories and helping um, elderly polish off their memories. But I, I always hear these regrets. And the biggest regret, people didn't live their life. They lived somebody else's life. Um, they, they somehow shrunk down. And you don't want to shrink or dim your light because it's shining in someone's eyes. If anything, you want to be an inspiring example for them to uh, to take things to 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 be more themselves, right? To give them permission to be themselves, to liberate themselves from the constraint of other people's expectations, because that's what that box is made out of, right? Like a, a teacher said, that's the boy with the broken brain pointing to me in front of the whole class. That label became my limit, so that I was stuck in a box made up of my own limitations and my mindset and my motivation and in the methods that I was using. And, um, and that wasn't really productive, right? But even though that box was made up of expectations and experiences in my environment, and we all have our own stories, that today though, we could choose. 
you know, whether we're going to stay in that box or we're going to reinforce it or we're going to be able to, to be able to step out by having a new thought or having a new behavior or having a new why or taking a new step. Remember the little steps, little by little, little becomes a lot. Anyway, I have to go. I want to thank you for listening to this week's podcast. I want to thank you. Thank you for helping me spread this book, limitlessbook.com. And um, we're on a mission to maximize your mind because your mind controls everything. If there's any one skill to master in the 21st century, if there's any one skill, it's your ability to learn faster. Because if you can learn faster, you can apply that towards anything. Management, marketing, martial arts, Mandarin, music, everything, money, everything gets easier if you can learn faster. You learn so you can earn so you can return. So I'll leave you what I always, I usually sign off on because repetition is strength. That your life is like an egg. That if an egg is broken by an outside force, life ends. But if it's broken by an inside force, life begins. Great things begin from the inside. And remember, don't wait for a great life to be grateful. Be grateful and you'll have a great life. This is your brain coach, Jim Quick. I wish today, whatever time it is for you, whenever you're watching this, be full of lots of life, lots of love, lots of laughter, and always lots of learning. Take care, everybody.